Okay, Bill. <coughs> Some overlifters for you I've made. Yeah. This is the only lock I've got. I'll give all the others away. And this has only got two out of three levers. Um, I've had to use one lever to repair another lock I had. Now you shouldn't be able to overlift this by rights because of this notch at the bottom. But it does go with you a little bit of faffing about. I'm not going to screw it up just to save a bit of time. Right, locked. <coughs> These are the two one-handers. Now I got the idea off a, off a guy called Max McClive. So full credit to you mate. Um, but I've had a go and they do work. I've made two different ones for you Bill, different sizes with different locks. And this is how it works. That part also overlifts and goes into the V of the bolt to turn the bolt. With a bit of luck. You know what it's like when you go on a camera. Right. There you are. Open. <laughs> Got that bloody stuff. Now should be able to to lock it as well if, bit, if I haven't pulled the hot levers out of the way. There we are. Locked. <laughs> Not all the levers down. <coughs> Back in. Come on. Obviously this wouldn't be happening if all the screws were in, but this is just to show you. Locked again. Taking a chance now, right? See if we can get it again. Bolts come off now. Out of its well, you get the idea. I'm still having another go though. There we are, open. I mean, that wouldn't happen on a, a lock that's locked, screwed together. You'd, you'd have a bit better of a, a feel. So, there's those two for you, Bill. And these two are my design. <coughs> Rather than make you four different ones, I've made you two double ones. Each one of these is just a couple of millimetres different from the, the previous one. So you've got four different sizes. Now you need tension tool with this obviously. A tension tool on the bolt and this will overlift the levers. Don't know if you can hear that. We're going up against the levers now, lifting every one at once. Simples. Happy birthday, Bill. <laughs> <laughs>